Hi there. So today we are going to solve a problem of finding an itinerary from a given list of tickets. So the idea here is you will be given a list of tickets as an input and you will have to find the output path. You can always build a graph out of it and do a topological sorting over it. But if you want to avoid the complexity of building a graph, then you can use the method of hashing and still solve this problem in linear time complexity. So, the idea here is to find the starting point. How are we going to do it? Is if you observe, for every starting point, there is an ending point. So for Chennai, Goa and Delhi, there are ending points available. But for Bombay, there is no ending point. That means it is the starting point of our output path. How are we going to find this starting point? So, you will be given, given this uh, input in the form of map and we will be creating a reverse map where we put all the values as keys and all these keys as values. How are we going to do it? Let's see. First we will create a reverse map. Now that we have this reverse map, we will iterate through the original map and will add the values in the reverse order. So now you can see we created a reverse map and added all the values in the reverse order. Now that we have all the reverse map ready, we will again iterate through this original map and we'll see that for every key in the reverse map is there a key and if not then that's our starting point. So we'll again iterate through our original map. And we will see that for every key is there a key in the reverse map so if this reverse map does not contain the key That means it's a starting point. And we'll break out of this loop. So we'll define this start as null. After this one, if our string start is still null, that means there is no path, there is no starting point from this list of tickets. So now that we have the starting point, we will iterate through this map again. Let's say we have this Bombay, so we'll find Delhi, that is the value of that particular key and will uh, 
uh, iterate over this map till it's null. So we'll first find two, which is uh, data set dot get. Start. That means in this case, Delhi and while two is not equal to null, we'll print this thing. Now the start will become 2 and 2 will be again will derive it from the data set. So now if you see what happened here is first we found Bombay as a starting point and then we found 2 as a Delhi. Then we replaced Delhi is our starting point and then we found Goa from Goa to Chennai and then from Chennai to Bangalore and that is the actual output that we need. Now if you talk about time complexity if you see first we iterated over our original map let's say the value in that is n then in order of n we got all our values in the reverse map. Then in the same case in the worst case in the, if the last value of the key is a starting point, then even in that case, the worst case is order of n again for this particular one. And this is, again we found the starting point and then the ending point, then again we went till the 2 became null. So we iterated over the data set in order of n. So if you see this code, then the time complexity of this is order of n. Thank you.